Yo, what's up, everybody? Welcome back once again. Brandon Champ Robinson here. And I just was going through the archives and I realized that I never did a director's commentary for May the 4th. So here we go. And spoiler alert, if you didn't see it yet, go ahead and watch it. It's awesome. This is my first mashup video. And basically it puts Harley Quinn versus Ray of Star Wars. And we did this for uh, May 4th last year. And I'm just now getting around to doing a director's commentary because I completely forgot that I didn't do it. Uh, so spoilers coming in five, four, three, two, one. You've been warned. All right. So first and foremost, this had to be possibly the most stressful shoot I've ever had in my life. First of all, just right out of the gate, bringing this is my first time bringing an actress from another state in. So I brought Courtney from Wisconsin into California for the shoot. She missed her flight. Day before the shoot, she misses her flight. So we have to scramble, scramble, scramble to try and find her another flight. There were no more flights leaving Milwaukee. We ended up having to send her in the morning to Chicago to catch a flight to San Diego to get here in time. Now, mind you, I live in Sherman Oaks, which is close to LAX and Burbank. San Diego is way out of the way. So we had to go and pick her up from San Diego. And then on top of all of that, I decided that I wanted to shoot this short in the actual sand dunes where they actually did shoot Star Wars. So that was damn near Mexico. We, we, we drove down to damn near Mexico. It was like an eight hour drive, I wanna say. I don't know, it, was, it probably wasn't eight hours, but it was a long drive. It probably was like six legitimate hours. I, bought, I uh, rented a van, uh, actually rented a big truck, shoved everybody in there. We had coolers full of snacks and food and everybody was a trooper and we just went and did it. And I think that we actually made something pretty decent. I don't think it was, you know, just, it was a lot of, uh, a lot of stress behind it, but I think it actually worked out. We did a lot, a lot, a lot of fighting for the light because we got there way later than we were supposed to. And, you know, kudos to me. It was actually the first shoot that I paid for a permit. So I was actually there legitimately, legally. I have like police, I paid for the permit. I just didn't want to get shut down. So I put a lot into this shoot and you know, it, it turned out really nice. Like I'm, I'm excited about it. So I'm just gonna go ahead. We're just gonna go ahead and get into it. Go ahead and get into this May the 4th. All right, here we go. All right, so it starts off with Harley getting hey, picked up and here? she's trapped with these stormtroopers. <laughs> a stormtrooper was really hard to find, like a legit stormtrooper costume. So I had to find this guy and I just duplicated this one guy. You know, I, I was a lot more that I wanted to do with the CG and the green screen on here, but I had to do with what I had. We made it happen. So. Basically, it's the First Order has captured Harley Quinn to try and combat Rey. Uh, they failed a few times and now they're sending her. Shout out to my big bro Godzilla for doing the score. He recreated all this and kind of made it our own so we wouldn't get any uh, copyright issues. Oh, this is how she's just kicking it, writing Jay and Harley in the sand. Shout out to Antoinette. Antoinette was another one of those. I'm sorry, not Antoinette. Annette, excuse me. 
Annette was another one of those people who just kind of showed up and just did her thing at the auditions. Who are you? It doesn't matter who I am. All I know is some guys in white suits said that I got to get rid of you to protect my pudding, Mr. J. I just like how she's so just naive. Like, I don't know what the hell you're talking about, girl. Like, yeah. What Whatever. are you? What do you mean? Now, and how is this? I don't care. Together and all of that, but I gotta find my sweetness. So with that being said, Look, I don't waste no time. Ugh. Race too quick. <laughs> nice little force push. <laughs> they gave me one of those. Figured it'd be so dope to have just Harley with the lightsaber, and people like went crazy to see it. Still have these lightsabers. These are like a lot of fun to just have around the house. So these are real, not real lightsabers, but they're like real glowing sticks that we put together. And uh, we didn't put together, we bought them from this company. And then we just overlaid the, the effect on top of them. So when they get close to each other, you can see how their face is actually lighting up. I didn't, it's all practical. I didn't have to do that in, in post at all. Whatever the First Order promised you, I assure you, you will not be fulfilled. No good comes from aligning with the dark side. If you want to protect your friend... You got her looking me. badass standing yeah, there. And there it is, there you have it. Shout out to my boy, Brandon Jermaine. He actually helped direct, uh, assisted direct, he helped edit, and he also helped produce this shoot. Um, let me go ahead and pause this. This was really like a lot of fun in, in venturing into the mashup world. The world of bringing two characters together and seeing what happened now. I couldn't, I didn't want to have Ray lose and I didn't definitely not want to have Harley lose, but I think bringing them together for the common goal at the end really finessed the best of both of those worlds. So if you guys like this director's commentary, give me that thumbs up, please. Thank you. Don't forget to turn on those notifications. And if you think I should do some more uh, mashups, let me know who you would like to see in the comments mashup. Now, it doesn't have to be uh just harley like i can mash up anybody so let me let me hear some of the craziest mashups you could think of me and my boy uh hisani who you'll you'll meet and hear more about him soon we have this crazy idea for a mashup and we think we're going to make it into a series because as you know like a lot of these channels and not knocking them at all when they do the mashups they're just like Fight, like, but they're amazing fights. Like, Bad in the Sun does these great fights. But the way I want to do it is, I want to move into telling a narrative behind those mashups. Like, what got us to this point? I want to tell that story to get to that mashup before they actually clash and we find out who wins. But you know that's that's that lane so i gotta try and make another lane like superpower beat down i watch that all the time they are crazy with the mashups like crazy and anytime superpower beat down bat in the sun if you guys want to use courtney my harley in any video she actually does know uh what does she know is it jujitsu is that the one with all the kicks I think it is jujitsu. She really knows. Like, she's a real good martial artist. So let me know. Let's make that happen. That'd be awesome. Everybody in the, you know, YouTube space, please go and uh, comment on their videos. Let them know that you want to see a mashup with Harley. I know they did Harley and uh, Joker versus Deadpool and Domino already. But let's bring it in. Let's, let's, let's bring it back. Let's do it little collaboration i need to get more collabs like i reached out to a couple people to a collab but uh, i didn't get any response yet and maybe just because you know um my channel is not as big and as popular as there so you know share this a lot so we can get more subscribers and then i can get up there and then they won't feel like 
this little guy is trying to ask us to do something and I could be like right on the same playing level. <laughs> I'm just joking around, man. Y'all have a good day. Thank y'all. Please don't forget to turn on notifications and I'll catch y'all later.